problems. She got bit by a tick. Josh is going to escort me to the doctor. Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today the, the video will be a bit different. We'll be going to the hospital in a few minutes or, from now. Or clinic, I don't know if it Or clinic be. to see a doctor because Emily has some problems. <laughs> she got beat by... Problems. Um, yes, she got beat by a tick. So... Yeah, we are going to head to the hospital see the doctor. soon to see the doctor. Basically, what happened, and now what are the chances that I was at football, was it two days ago, I was at football with the boys, and after football, Adam went running with loads of like, uh, kids through like the slightly longer grass, and I suddenly had this like thought, and I said it to my friend Alice, it's really worrying me them running through long grass because of ticks, and I never really worried about ticks before. And then that night, I saw a tick running across our bed, caught it and everything, obviously. I don't, I don't think it came from Adam in the grass, I just think it's just a coincidence. And I spoke to my parents about it because my dad had potentially a tick bite a few years ago and I had to go to the doctors and all sorts of things because of Lyme disease. So they filled me in with all the things to look out for and all, everything like that. And then 24 hours later, I got a very obvious tick bite on my leg show up and it's like with the ring around it and it's growing so that is a symptom or a sign of possible Lyme disease which obviously is a huge huge worry <laughs> um I haven't really got any other symptoms yet I feel a bit headachey but I don't know if that's just something else or that's the same thing um yeah not ideal so we tried to check our skin maybe for the kids also me but had to see our showing off Showing on our skin because what? Because what? Well, I guess it's just it just shows up differently on mine. It's very very clear. I can see the tick bite like obviously straight away. Um, I'm just worried about Josh and the kids because I mean Josh is covered in mosquito bites, but they you know the the colour doesn't show up so much. So there might be a little lump, but not the colour. So it's just not as clear, and so that is a worry. And it's just yeah, not ideal whatsoever. But. Yeah, we put a Brevecto order in to make sure that we, I mean, we are we are quite on it with our dogs, but we are just a couple of weeks late with their tick and D flea medicine. So we put an order in to get that. Um, but yeah, off to the doctor because I would much rather t like potentially take all the medicine and prevent it. I cannot imagine. I, I We have a lot of things going on in life. I do not need to get Lyme disease. Anyway, Josh is going to escort me to the doctor. Hopefully they... <laughs> Your hair tickled me. Hopefully right. they'll be able to help. All right, and we'll take you around. Take you with us. It's raining. I see we are going to use a border because we haven't got a car yet. My little girl, she's always behind, waiting for the border. This is our board, Alfred. Alfred, Emily's favorite. A border, border guy. We can't fit on his back. Why do you Because of. It's my stomach. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Emily's always in the back and squeezing me. Squeezing you. <laughs> but even Alice and Hannah were laughing so much about it the other day because it's just not, <laughs> it's just not the done thing for the girl to be at the back. But I. I don't like to squish up against the driver. I'd rather cuddle Josh. We are the host hospital. Right? I don't really think it's a proper hospital. I think it's more like I think it's more like a clinic. It's a clinic. I think it's called in, no, is it called Centre International Medical? I don't know what it's called. So yeah, we are here. So. We've only been to this one one time before, and it's because this place before was. Um, the only place I can use, so if I need to pay for my health insurance, I can. And this is where we come again. Alright, I'm going to go in.
Auto gedingen. Ja, wer hat das? I'll get from our side. But then we can't pay when we finish also to get medicine, maybe what that, eh? You don't know your telephone number and you want me to have a number. You're finished. I'm just finishing with Dr. Anna here and get medicine, so I'm going on a course of Dr. Cycling and things. He doesn't think it's absolutely necessary, but if I want to just be really careful and make sure I don't get sick, that's, that's what to do. I think it's quite nice. I don't know if you guys can hear us, but just finished, just got medicine. It was all pretty quick to be honest, and actually I really quite like this like doctor's clinic, hospital, whatever it is, because it's quite modern, very clean and things. The only thing that took forever was waiting for the receipt. Everything else was fast, seeing the doctor was fast, getting the medicine was fast, and just waiting for a receipt took like half an hour. But yeah, all done anyway, got medicine. We'll let you know what medicine when we get home, because it's just, yeah, it's really quite noisy, and it's raining a bit as well. Home now, Josh has gone to pick the boys up from school. Yeah, I actually quite like that clinic because it's only the second time I've ever been to that one and uh, we'll probably try try it out again more in the future as well. But yeah, they gave me some Doxy, some doxycycline, um, which obviously can have some not very nice side effects, but it is what it is. And then some something called Norma Gut, which I think is a probiotic. And then this, which I really feel like I don't need, which is just like some cream to put on the actual tick bite itself, but it's not bothering me at all. So I don't really feel like I need it, but I guess I'll put a bit on. Anyway, I'm sure I'm absolutely fine. It's just, yeah, it still is like expanding the pink, the red, whatever it is, and just rather be safe than sorry, really. Um, Yeah, so that's, yeah, could be a lot worse. I'm glad I noticed the tick because without the tick, I mean, I get lots of bites and things all the time obviously with mosquitoes and things like that that if i hadn't seen the tick i wouldn't have realized that this is a tick bite and then may have left it for ages and you never know so i'm i'm glad i saw the tick even if it has grossed me out and now i'm convinced that the bed must be full of them but now i'm just hoping that i was the only one to be bitten by it and yeah we we got rid of him nasty little thing and just hopefully yeah the dogs have been sprayed today, so to try and get rid of it in case. I, usually we notice, like, that is the first tick I've seen since being back in Uganda. Since we've started giving the dogs Brevecto, it's so, so effective. I'm just quite surprised that we found it at all, to be honest. It has been a couple of weeks since we filmed this video, and I'm just editing it and realising that I never actually ended it. So all good news, finished my meds, no sign of any you know, further diseases and haven't seen another tick since, so that's a positive. Perhaps we overreacted and didn't need to rush to the doctor so quickly, but I feel like I would just much rather be safe than sorry. We definitely have enough going on, we don't need, you know, one of us to be diagnosed with Lyme disease on top of everything else. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget that we have now started posting three times a week, so Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays, all should be hopefully posted around 5pm UK time. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.